Okay, in this video, we are going to be talking about middleware. And middleware allows us to protect certain routes from being accessed. So the best way to kind of show this to you or to explain it to you is to show it to you. And we covered authentication in the last video, which is the app that we have here in front of us. So let's go ahead and open up this code real quick and go to our routes web.php. So I want to show you this route called route get slash home. So let's go ahead and try and access that real quick. So if we go to home, you can see that we automatically get redirected to our login. So again, we go to home and since we're not logged in, we just get redirected. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with an account and you can see that we automatically get redirected to the home page right here. So if I'm back here and I go to slash home, you can see that I'm allowed to access it. And this is a prime example of middleware. So if we are not logged in, then a middleware is protecting the home route and redirecting the user to log in. So let's dive in and figure out how this works. So if I look at the home route, we're seeing that it goes to a home controller and index method. So let's go ahead and open up that home controller. And we can see that we have the index method right here. And up here in the constructor, we also have this middleware auth. So for every single method inside of this controller, it is going to run this middleware before accessing any of the methods. So to figure out where this is coming from, we can actually look inside of our app, HTTP kernel, and we can see here that we have middleware groups, and then we have route middleware. And sure enough, inside of this route middleware, we have this auth that's located at app HTTP middleware authenticate. So we can go into the middleware folder and actually take a look at this middleware. So you can see inside of this middleware, it is using illuminate auth middleware authenticate as middleware and it's extending from this class. So let's dig a little bit deeper and see if we can figure this out as well. So let's go to illuminate auth middleware authenticate. So let's open that up. And you can see here that we have this handle function and it is saying this authenticate and then it will return the next request. So it's actually saying if the user is authenticated, then we can allow them through. Otherwise it is actually going to redirect. So we have this redirect to that gets overloaded right here which is redirect to, and it will redirect to our login. So some of this might seem a little bit over your head, but just know that if this middleware gets hit, it's just going to check to see if the user is logged in. If not, it will redirect them to the login. But let's go ahead and create our own middleware just so that I can show you what's going on here. So we can do that using the PHP Artisan tool. We can say PHP Artisan make middleware, and I'm going to call this admin middleware. So I'm going to assume that one of our users is an admin of our application and only they can access a specific route. So I have this admin middleware right here and it says return the next request. So what I want to do is I'm gonna add a new column in the database that's just a one or a zero, whether the user is an admin or not. So let's go to our terminal and run php artisan make migration add admin column to users table. Okay, and now if I were to check out my database migrations, I can see this new migration right here. We have the users table. I'm gonna say table, and I believe that is bool value. I can go ahead and look up here. And even I have to go to the documentation from time to time just to confirm and see that I'm entering the correct thing. So I want to add, yeah, that's actually Boolean. And we'll say admin. And then down here in the down function, I'm gonna say table, drop column, admin. Okay, let's run this migration real quick. And now let's jump over to our database. And if I were to look at my users table, I can see that we have an admin that is zero right now. 
So let's create a new route and then we can protect this route as to whether this user is an admin or not. So we'll open up our routes web.php and we're going to create just a simple route closure. So this route is going to be called admin. And we'll say you are an admin. And sure enough, if we were to visit this route, we're going to be able to access it no matter what kind of user we are because we don't have a middleware protecting that route. So let's go ahead and change that. We have our admin middleware here. So I'm just going to run a simple if condition. So I'm going to say if auth guest. So first I'm going to check to see if the user is a guest. And if they are, I'm just going to redirect them to to the home page. So let's go back here. Let's log out of the application. So first let's go to admin. Sure enough, we can still visit that, but if we were to log out and we try to go to slash admin, it's gonna say that we're still there because we created the middleware, but we didn't actually tie it to that route. So to do that, we can actually go back to our routes, web.php, and we're gonna say that we want the middleware of admin to be run before accessing this route. Now it actually doesn't know where this admin middleware is, so we need to add that inside of our kernel. So inside of the kernel, I can just add this under the auth, or I could add it at the end right here. So this is going to be in the same location as the authenticate app HTTP middleware, and that is going to be admin middleware. I may just want to check on that. Yep, that should be admin middleware. So let's go ahead and test this out now. So we try and go to the admin, and then we just get redirected. Admin, and get redirected. So now let's log in with our user. And if we try to go to the admin, we are allowed to access that route. But we actually shouldn't be able to because the user, if we look in the database, has admin of zero. So we need them to only be able to access that route when admin equals one. So that's simple enough. We could go back here so we can say, if the authenticated user is a guest, then we want to redirect them to the home page. So we can say, if auth user admin, we'll actually say, if auth user is not admin, so we'll add the not right there. Then we also want to redirect to the home page. So you can see here that if none of these conditions are met, it's just going to return the next request, allowing us access to that specific page. But right now we should actually get redirected to the home page. Let's try and access this route and we get redirected because that user is not an admin. Now let's go to the database and let's make him an admin. And let's try and access that route. And sure enough, we can access the route. So you can see inside of our routes web.php that we added the middleware right here. But if we wanted to, like we did up here in the home controller index, we could add it to the constructor. So by adding it to the constructor, you can confirm that before any of these methods actually get accessed, they will run the code inside of that middleware. So the middleware, again, is just simply enough a way to run some code before allowing access to any specific routes. So that is the basics of Laravel middleware. Again, to understand everything that's included with middleware, you'll want to come to the documentation and check it all out. Hey, thanks for checking out this video series on Laravel 7 basics. I just wanted to say thanks for watching this series. And I also wanted to ask you to give me a follow on Twitter at T-N-Y-L-E-A. I also wanted to take just a second and let you know about one of my courses that I created called SAS Adventure. And you can visit it at sasadventure.io. And this is a 21 day program that will teach you how to create your own software as a service using the Laravel framework. So if you wanna support me, go ahead and uh, check out my course at sasadventure.io and I will see you in the next video.